Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of a Legendary Difficulty. Time for a Skrilla in Manila. I think this is going to be the one that just uh, got away. But that would be fantastic to have a bit of a rematch and maybe even be able to... Um, knock it down. I don't know if paralyzation would count as successful defeat. Who knows? Uh, we can paralyze a lot of other enemies. Doesn't need to be the Skrilla. The Skrilla can be killed. So just double checking. Is there anything we need? Tell you what. I was disappointed that the Goo Repeller Boot module didn't really work with Ian. He needed to jump out, which I think was a bit of a disaster. Okay, everybody has the uh, boot module on and everybody's ready. We gave them weapons and a purpose. Let's go in, capture some, kill some, and have some fun. We are here, ready and very much willing to get these guys down. We're running into the artillery because I want to make sure that we can capture it, plus that we deal with it. <laughs> Let's have a bit of a scout, shall we? Ian dashes forward. Don't want to deal with uh, uh, the uh, with uh, these guys. They are absolutely hideous and. Mainly just want to get them out of the way, so. In order to sprint up, everybody can take a good move. I just want to use actions now that cost willpower because we're going to. Uh, be getting some whale power back. So several of the soldiers use dash. Very good. All of them get a little bit of uh, willpower back. And a little bit more willpower. Okay, everybody's filled up with willpower once again. And we're moving forward. Good. There is a stupid Terror Sentinel. Um, that one will need to die next turn. I'm thinking about maybe we're even killing it this turn. So refilling, which means. Hmm. 
with a single jump and a move we should be able to get there. Solid hit. <sighs> okay, well, I figured that might be the problem. Euler dashes again. Re onslaughting. Kill them. Damn it. Do we have any more onslaught? Yes, we do. Dilly moves up. And we're completely filling Ian up. deal with the terror sentinel these guys are absolute cancer Ian moves further up and I think we're just going to take some actions away so that that uh, thing is not running too far away It's really strange to see how quick and just decisive uh, this entire group can move up. Think about it, it's just round number one. Not only did we kill the guys that were coming towards us, but on top of that, we basically uh, cleared everything with the exception of the artillery. There's some loot here that I would want to get. And there are a couple of more enemies. I tell you what, uh, let's just place a couple of drones here. Good, now for the Skrilla and Co, what do we want to do with you? Butcher moves up. Unfortunately, a miss. One and two. So that guy is taken out. out of curiosity yeah he got his armor back
Adrenaline rush. I don't think that we can capture him after we have removed all of the armor. One, two. He's just going to take too much damage. Three. Apparently we're still removing armor. Six, okay. Seven. Good, now it looks like everything is gone. Of course, with the exception of the heavy, heavy plates up there. Shattered Realm moves in. start with removing actions <coughs> and paralyzing this guy The armor plates as well. There we go. Holly moves up. Inappropriate Murphy moves, and thankfully, we can share turrets which is the best thing ever. There we go. All right, Overwatch. Overwatch, and I think we're okay. End of turn, yes. Highly poison resistant, so nothing is happening. Yeah. Uh, that one, on the other hand, stinks. It stinks and stings. Yeah. Want to get these uh, guys as soon as possible. Good. Grell moves up. Fair enough.
Dilly is slightly poisoned. We're going to move up. We're going to heal. I don't want any problems here. Murphy moves up. Mainly because we want to keep everybody uh, running. Drinks moves up. Now. Since we're standing in the open, might as well give everybody a bit more armor. Ready to pick up the turret next turn. Butcher moves up. <coughs> One, two, three. Shattered Realm. One, <coughs> two, three. Uh, I forgot the war scream. Um, onslaughting into war scream. Very good. Brings us to Drangs. We might as well just move forward and attack. I should have moved them away from one another that way we could have uh, stalled a bit longer to move up now nah, he won't be the one uh, killing the Skrilla That and that 
and we're moving over oh hello oh hello one that and that oh messed it up luckily we got the safety net Now we don't need mutagens, but materials are a good option. There we go. Now dashing. We have no one left, right? Can't carry anymore anyways. dash and dash and we're almost out that was a successful round drinks equally dashes oiler runs out going to retrieve the turret yes please <coughs> and move as far as possible back an appropriate Murphy moves out one hit for this guy <laughs> just for good measure and I think we got everyone next turn we're just going to move out we could have uh, captured of course a few more enemies here and there The question is, is it really worth uh, the effort? We have a, we have had a clean mission, no one died, uh, which I think is the bare minimum standard in this game. But also we captured, I think, six enemies, managed our willpower very well. Did not use a lot of material, which, funnily enough, is one of uh, the influencing factors for good games or for good missions. Because if you use a lot of material just to achieve what you're trying to do, then the net benefit uh, out of the mission isn't that high. And we got, I think, 300 materials on top of it, which 
also a nice uh, benefit. If you think about it, they are more valuable than mutagens, so uh, that actually worked out well. Of course, we could have tried to uh, capture even more enemies, but the question is to which extent. Uh, at the end of uh, the day, you, we would have used more uh, resources for it, and we would have definitely spent way more time. There, they are continuing to spawn in an unlimited fashion. So as long as we're somewhat um, safe and can regenerate, uh, we should be able to weather even like waves and waves of them. But uh, yeah, it would have taken a while. Interesting, the mind uh, mind flayers, they were not recoverable. <laughs> Okay, we definitely need to do their mission first. The Black Ops. And that actually could be our next mission. We need to regain a bit more uh, willpower. So what you will see is I'll fly up, we'll wait just a tiny bit and then we should be good. Now we're trading out of uh, out of food. So that's no bueno. Yeah, the food havens are a bit of a waste. 18 hours until the enemies arrive here. Yeah, the food havens are a bit of a waste, unfortunately. In South America, we had these guys re regenerating their strength. Can we get there with a prime team? Can we get there with any team is the question. 16 hours defense of Europe. I think what we will do is we'll Fly over here with Helios 5 and Helios 6 and we'll do the Europe uh, defense with our prime team and at the same time we're stopping the invasion there. Construction complete. Good, manufacturing. We finally passed the mark to build the Skrilla. No, the Scythe. Why, why do I even say Skrilla? Why would you build such a huge monstrosity? There you go, Scythe. And we're very, very close um, to build another rocket launcher. Good, let's trade down here. Like I mentioned, we want to trade out of food. Because here in our containment facility, we have a fresh supply of even more food.
What? A new Pandoran uh, nest has been discovered. One, two. Double check. Twenty nine. The okay, okay. Two for nine. That's Crook Haven again. I think what we're going to do is we're moving over with our Epsilon team, and they will take out that structure. The Prime Team can't do everything by themselves. Uh, also, we finally passed the point where I could build another grenade thrower. And that means a lot to me. So, yeah, shifting around our forces on the globe. Need to do that defense, and then another defense. Then we need to take the hive, which is crazy if you think about it. So much happening yet again. Two for ten. Strength is slightly going down. We'll just wait a tiny bit more. That would have been a good haven. One, if it had resources that we could have used. is almost completely empty we will arrive in Europe in time that is good too good to pass so we're going to empty our resources here move to here and then getting that as well No resources. Haven still stays strong here. We're looking at 68%. Okay. Research complete. We're more re I have a resistant small task now. that needs taken care of. Outside formal channels. Not everyone really understands the war we're in. Some people think it's just about killing as many Pandorans as possible, but the war goes a lot deeper than that. This is a war for control over our DNA, and we're still almost entirely unarmed. Some time ago, one of my attempts to give us a fighting chance in that war went wrong. You may have heard of it. The fall of Fort Freiheit. I regret what happened, but not the fact that we Anyway, good. Let's accept the mission. I look forward to receiving the results of this operation. You will be. Oh. Yeah, that will take us a while to even get there. I'm very closely eyeing what's happening here 
Our soldiers in Europe will chill out a bit. That's fine. Construction complete. We're moving forward. I don't. I don't think that any of the Indian hubs currently has material. Very good. And that is why we need more food, because once you completely trade out of food or only food, You need to continuous resupply. Okay, and I won't cut it any shorter than that. I think this is a good point uh, to stop. We're 90% here. We'll defend uh, Fort Artemis uh, the next time with a def uh, attack strength of uh, th uh, 19. Let's do that. Defend uh, Europe and we got a couple more uh, sideline missions. Byzantium, uh, which is a an interesting... Um, data retrieval mission. All right, guys, have a good one. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.